Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary. This is Rosemary G. Rock Art. If you are returning, thank you. I truly appreciate it. If you're checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. Like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Welcome to Hashtag Tea Tuesday. Tea Tuesday is an open collab. It is hosted by my sweet friends, Kathy over at Kathy's Favorite Things and Patty over at Life with Patty. So before I get into what I want to share with you today, I am drinking the Red Rose Lemon Cake. And it is sweetened with stevia. I like that. It's just a perfect blend. Uh, I'm also using a, a different mug today. I usually use the mug that my BFF Camille gave me. But today I thought I'd change it up a little bit. I'm using this mug. It is super old that the pictures have faded. And I'm like, I don't care. I really, really don't. I love this mug. <laughs> oh, yes, as a teenager, I used to watch the Donnie and Marie show every Friday night. Even if they were run reruns, I watched it. I watched it. Well, you know, I'm a huge fan of the Osmonds, so. All right. Usually on Tea Tuesday, I have uh, an uplifting story or a story that hopefully inspires you. Today, I have a story that has really upset me, and I contemplated whether to share this with you, but I'm like, yep, I'm keeping it real, so I want to share this with you. So, this coming Thursday on the 20th is uh, Jack and my 24th anniversary. I cannot believe it's been 24 years, but it has been uh, an incredible 24 years, just an incredible blessing. Uh, Jack is, um, you know, just so loving and supportive. I am truly, truly blessed. He's always helping me with anything that I, um, you know, uh, venture out to do, whether it's uh, with music, whether it's for the channel, whether it's uh, church. He's always supporting me, helping me get those projects or those activities done. So uh, I'm truly blessed. Well, with that being said, last Thursday, I'm going to run through these events with you. Last Thursday, uh, Jack and I had to go to this relative's house that we're uh, watching, and uh, we had to go check on something. So as we are leaving the house, um, I'm putting my coat on, and then at the last second, as I'm putting the coat on, I realized, oh, I wanted to show Jack something on my iPad. And uh, uh, because if, you know, oh, there's this picture I was showing him, there was this item at Home Depot I wanted to go see if they had it. So, and it was a picture on my iPad. So I run back to the bedroom, and as I'm doing that, Jack uh, picked up this tube of lotion on my, um, on our kitchen island. And I put it there because... Um, I wanted to see if I'd gotten the last of it out of the tube. I'm so cheap <laughs> that I have to squeeze every last bit of it. And this tube was kind of tough to squeeze. So I wanted him to do that. Well, he's doing this in the process of me putting my coat on, getting my iPad. And as I'm walking back into the kitchen from the bedroom, he says, oh, here's a bunch of lotion. And I'm like, uh, oh, okay. So I put my coat on. I hadn't zipped it up yet laid my iPad down and as he's giving me all this lotion I'm like wait I got to take my ring off because I don't like putting lotion when I have a ring on so um uh, so all of that is happening that is super good all of that is happening so we go take care of what needs to be taken care of at this house. We run to Home Depot, you know, that we get home. And when we get home, I am cleaning off the kitchen island, you know, just wiping it down. And I realized I don't have my ring. I don't know where my wedding band is. So I start looking where I was. I go to the bedroom, I look in the kitchen, uh, down the hall, and Jack is like watching me, like, you know, trying to find something. He goes, what are you looking for? And I'm like, 
I don't know where my wedding band is. And this doesn't, this happens kind of often with me. I set something down and because I have poor vision, I forget where I put it and I lose things. So he's like, oh, it's probably here somewhere. We looked every, well, not everywhere, obviously, because um, I've lost my wedding band uh, and I haven't been able to find it. So we've looked all through the kitchen. We looked all over the floor and in the dining room under the, you know, fridge, um, under the kitchen dining room set or dining room table and chairs, shelves in the living room because we have this open area. It's, uh, you know, our living room and kitchen is open to each other. Looked in the bedroom. Jack looked in the hall. He looked in the craft room. We've looked in the band room, looked in both bathrooms. He's looked down the sink. We even dug through our garbage because our garbage gets picked up on Friday morning. So we're digging through our garbage. <laughs> oh, which isn't fun. I've had to do that a lot. <laughs> uh, and then we're thinking, okay, let's retrace my steps. Because I don't remember, as I'm putting lotion on, I remember taking my ring off because I don't like putting lotion when I have a ring on. So I don't know if I tucked it in my pocket. So as I'm rubbing the lotion on, we're leaving. And I would put my ring back on. Or did I put it on the counter as I'm rubbing lotion on? I don't remember. I honestly don't remember. And so we've checked the van. We've checked the driveway. We've checked uh, all through the house that we could think of. Uh, we've checked this relative's house. We've retraced my steps because I was only in a few rooms anyway. I wasn't really in, I was only in a couple places at his house. Uh, checked there. On Friday morning, I'm like, what if it fell out of my pocket at Home Depot? But then I'm thinking, I don't think that happened. I, I, so I'll get back. I, I did call Home Depot and I did get a really nice manager and no, they, no one had turned in anything like that or a ring. Um, so, but I don't think it was at Home Depot, honestly, because when we drove up to Home Depot, we both even mentioned, oh my gosh, there's not even hardly anybody here. So as we're sitting in the car, I put my mask on and, um, uh, I had my phone in my pocket and as we were walking to Home Depot or, you know, into Home Depot, we didn't stay long. We didn't find the item. So we walked right out. So we were only there maybe a couple minutes to five minutes. And I didn't pull my phone out while I was in there. And, and if I had my ring in my pocket, I never pulled my phone out. So we've checked our van thoroughly. Uh, two houses thoroughly or at least as thoroughly as we think are garbage and um, it's devastating to lose a wedding band but you know I'm thinking last Thursday you know when I lost it I'm like oh my gosh our anniversary is next Thursday so our anniversary is this Thursday on the 20th and I've lost my wedding band and it's just devastating and you know the important thing isn't the band the important thing is um jack and my relationship you know i couldn't have found anyone better throughout this whole earth um and so i am truly truly blessed but you know i i'm sentimental um you know i kind of want my wedding band i do have another ring um but the wedding band is the one I had first, and then Jack uh, got me this ring. And I don't like wearing this one all the time because my wedding band is just a band, and it has a channel with the diamonds in it. So it's, you know, there's no way of, uh, you know, damaging it if I bump into something or, you know, or when I'm crafting or working or anything like that. So that's why I like to wear my wedding band opposed to this ring. So, you know, Jack says, don't worry about it. You know, uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get you another band. So I went on to Sam's Club website, and they have the same ring that, I, that he got me years and years and years ago. I think, oh my gosh, I think it had to have been like 2006, 7, or something like that. That Because my first, first wedding band that he got me, it's a uh, tri-gold, like yellow gold, uh, white gold, and rose gold. But it doesn't fit me. It's too big. So he got me this band that I lost. 
and I think it was in 2007 or even eight. I don't remember, but it's been a long time that I, you know, have had that band. And so, uh, you know, it's sentimental to me. So uh, he goes, don't worry about it. Uh, we'll just order you another one. And he goes, as soon as we order it and it comes in, you're going to find your other one. <laughs> I sure hope so. You know, I <laughs> just... So speaking of sentimental, our anniversary and all that stuff, uh, yeah, well, this Thursday is our 24th anniversary. I found this little box as I'm searching high and low because I get very crazy when I lose something. I get to the obsessive point and Jack has to say, stop, you need to, that's enough, stop. Because <laughs> I drive myself crazy and I drive him crazy as well. Anyway, as I'm looking through things, uh, I was actually looking for the receipt for that ring because I really do have it. And uh, it was uh, in the same drawer that this little box was in. So this little box um, is just this little box with this little window and a little flower. And what's in it are my corsages. Now, this one was given to me by this lady that we used to go to church with. She's since passed, but she used to work at a floral shop. And she made that for me. I think there was more stuff, but these little flowers are uh, like little silk flowers or, you know, um, satin flowers or something. And then uh, when we had our wedding reception, uh, she also gave me this one. And these were uh, flowers that have obviously dried. So I just have them in this little box. And so, you know, as, I, as I'm looking like a crazy woman for my ring, not that they would have been in the shore, but again, I was looking for the receipt for that original wedding band, not original, but the one I lost. I came across this little box with these sentimental little uh, items in them, and I'm like, oh, you know, uh, Jack's totally right. You know, it's, it's not the ring that matters, it's our relationship, and I, again, I'm truly blessed to have them. I'm truly blessed that, you know, we've been together so long, and it's been a great, great life. It really has. He um, he really does uh, support me in every way possible. I'm just, I'm truly blessed. All right. Uh, you know, um, I, I will keep you updated if, if I ever do find my wedding band. <laughs> but it has upset me. It still upsets me if I think about it too much. Uh, one night... We were watching TV and I thought, oh, what if it's there? And I go look and then it's not. And I come back to the couch and Jack's sitting there watching TV. And I just, and I'm crying. And he goes, don't cry. It's it's okay. I, I'll get you another band. And I'm like, oh, I just feel bad. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you on T Tuesday. <laughs> not inspiring, not up uplifting, uh, you know, really. But, um, you know, just something I wanted to share with you because... Uh, it's something that's happened and, uh, you know, you guys are so loving and supporting too. So you just kind of want to keep you in the loop of what's happening. So, all right. Thanks for hanging out with me on Tea Tuesday. Oh, by the way, uh, for Thursday's tunes, I am uh, getting together a real special song that I'm going to dedicate to Jack. So I hope you guys come back for that. All right, thanks for hanging out with me on Tea Tuesday. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock. <laughs>